In this tutorial, we want to look at the path effect lattice deformation. So let's draw something like we, we, we can use it on a test and as well on any object at all. But I'm just going to draw something here. Let me go for our Bezier tool and then just draw anything. I, I will use, I'm using the create spiral spiral path bezier tool so just draw something like this it's not important anything at all like this and then select it and do just a duplicate of it go to right click your mouse and then do a duplicate and bring your duplicate somewhere here now you can also do a duplicate by just going to edit and then duplicate now select with this selector select this by going to shift on your keyboard and then we go to extensions and then we are just go to generate from path and then do it some kind of interpolation so we are you change you can do the interpolation step 25 okay and you can use the method too and then we just do apply so we have something generated here now with this done we close this and then we select everything here and then we go to path and then combine because the path effect needs only one um, thing so now go to path path effects and then this uh, dialog box comes and then go to the plus and then go to lattice deformation now you cannot see anything when you see this thing here you just see this reset grade and all this stuff but for you to see what is happening you have to use the edit path by notes tool the moment you click it you will see that you have this blue um, uh, lattice on whatever you've drawn and then you can manipulate it maybe you can manipulate it by going to the nodes here if you can't see it first of all i select everything and then give it i go to shift and then i give i change this the color so you can see it clearly now you go to the any node here or any any node you see you can touch it and you can um, adjust whatever you've drawn. You can manipulate whatever you've drawn also with these small, small handles. But in, in case you want to do everything together, you just go to the nodes there and then you manipulate things, adjust them using the nodes there to move things up and down here and there. So that and then you can also use this on a test so let's say we write a test here i'm using a uh, segio ui emoji and i'm using 35 it's not the important thing is for you to know how to use the test and i write something like maybe um lattice deformation something like this then what and also i for since it's a test i select it and i have to change it to a path so i just go to path and object to path now i'm ready since i have already the path effects open there i just go to the plus and do the same thing i come here and you see blue lines as well and then if you you can also adjust your whatever you've written by using the nodes um, that you have so you can deform it something like this or whatever using the nodes um, that you can see here you can do anything like this or whatever so that's how you can use the Nazis deformation path effects in Inkscape. Thank you for watching. Please help me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you. Bye.